Okay, time for round four. This time I will beat him, I'm sure I will, I seriously hope. I will play... What do I have? Uh, don't have goblins anymore. Don't have pack instinct anymore. Uh, I've got crosswinds, ancient wilds, exalted darkness. Dream puppet? Wait. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I've got one of those four. I think I will play dream puppets this time. I'll get those guys out of the way. Those guys are a mixed bag now. I mean, they're very powerful, but at the same time, they're very weak. Because, as you saw, decks now have cards that one-term win the game, basically. So Dream Pup is no longer that good because they're all about drawing. So they'll very easily draw those cards. Uh, uh, this hand is not the best in the world, but not the worst in the world, either. Um, I'll keep it, just because... It might get better. I won't play Visions from Behind on Yes, I absolutely need to right now. So now he's like, oh shit, is he Dream Puppet or Crosswind? Because if he's Crosswinds, I'm screwed. That's his third line of thinking right now. So what am I, Pam? Am I Crosswinds? Or am I dream puppets? <laughs> Evolving wilds. Oh dear. What is he then? Green black. Ugh. Hey, I drew another mana. Awesome. I'll put my sapphire medallion on the field. That is also shared by crosswinds and dream puppets. <laughs> what am I, Pan? What am I? <laughs> yep, green black as I thought. Ooh, he's got a blood artist already. Ooh. I guess this is one good thing. Uh, dream puppets. Doesn't have any cards, any creature cards really, so... Doesn't really matter about the fact that he's, you know... Well, I do have a few actually, but... Hmm. Yeah, okay. And draw a card. I'll put that guy back into my hand and draw a card. That's okay, I guess. Ah, draws me highly minds. Good. Next turn I'll be able to play that, and then both, te both sides will have two cards drawn per turn instead of one. Ugh, ravenous rats, I have to discard a card. Great. Well, I guess I will discard Visions of Beyond. Because I might as well. It's not that great of a card, really. I mean, it's good late game, but early game it's not very good. And what's that? Okay, so he's got two 1-1 one -one creatures on the field right now. And since his deck relies very heavily on uh, just killing creatures. Yeah, this is one that has 5-5 five five with uh, dealing with one plus one counters. Sorry, not the other one, I was wrong. Howling Mines has now been played. The Aether Adept has now been played. Don't want to return that guy to the hand. Because then I'll discard another card, so I'm returning the Spore Frog. This guy can also block, if need be. Now he gets two cards in his hand. What's he going to do? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, a ticker tock, a ticker. Blood artist goes back, back onto the field. Okay. And Sport Frog goes back onto the field as well. Okay. Now he can start killing his creatures to get life and uh, take life from me, I guess. Yep, that's what I thought. So, block. I lose life, he gains life. I want to block it now, though, because otherwise he can might get car other cards that also have the same effect. So just get rid of his creatures basically right now. Ooh, awesome. I got Grindstone. Grindstone is amazing. I'm just gonna tell you right now, Grindstone is amazing. I could take over Blood Artist now. That's a waste. Alright then, so Grindstone. Put the top two cards of Tarix Player's Library into his graveyard. If they share a color, repeat the process. Unfortunately, his is a multicolored deck. but So this isn't gonna work quite as well. But yeah. Okay, so he got a forest and a creature. Yeah, unfortunately it has to be a creature or a spell with the same thing. 
which is annoying. It's the same color, which is annoying, but yeah. So that grindstone will slowly but surely grind his deck out. That's the point of why it's called grindstone. Another evolving wilds, okay. I personally took those out of my deck. Out of all my decks, because I'd rather just draw the mana. But I guess it does let you choose an exact colour. It's his turn, he's still got seven cards in his hand, man. What are you playing at? I guess they're all really high mana cost cards, which will be scary, so I'm going to have to remember to mind control later. That's a good art, by the way, so it's got Jace on top controlling this blinking kaiju. Yeah, that, is, that must be a kaiju. What's he going to do? Come on, Pam. We're all waiting for your three mana card. Come on. Oh god, Maelstrom pulls. Destroy- Oh, he was choosing whether to destroy the Highly Mines or this. Okay, he destroyed my Grindstone. So, my deck is not Grindstoning. Which is unfortunate. I'll block again. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's sacrificing it. Okay, because... Don't really know why. Why did you do that? That makes no real sense, but okay. Oh, yes! You shouldn't have used your card. And then I'm going to unsummon him. Basically, every single turn of his, of his turn, he is going to put the cards cards into his graveyard from the top of his deck equal to the number of cards he has in his hand. He has He's going to have nine cards, seven cards in his hand, so he's going to lose seven cards and then he's going to draw two more so he's got nine. Awesome. Oh, he's got... Fuck. Destroy target creature. Fuck. 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 But he still gets he still has to get rid of them all. Awesome. So, I, so it only worked once, I think. Yeah, I got rid of Maelstrom Pulse as well, which is nice. <laughs> There's the Blood Artist back on the field, and he's got no mana this turn. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll live with it. Ooh. Ooh. When a crit player deals combat damage, what you do to And that player flips tight. Oh, yeah. It's an equip too, as well. So. Yes! Boom, shakalaka! Who said Jace can't fight? Block or don't block, Pan, it's your choice. Okay, you're blocking then. Boom! Goodbye, Blood Artist. I lose one health, you gain a life, but now I've got a 2 2 creature, right? Okay, so it only works if I actually attack him directly. Good to know, but this at least was forcing him to block with that Blood Artist. I don't want that Blood Artist on the field. Another Evolving Wilds? Wow. Is he just not drawing mana or is he just trying to use up all his Evolving Wilds? This makes no sense. You should play mana over Evolving Wilds always. So that way your mana's untapped. Hmm. Well, it's good for me because that means that he's got more ca So that means he's got even more mana cards, meaning he's got even less creatures and spells. And every time he uses... Uh oh. Really? Oh well. At least the artifact stays alive. Damn it. Whatever. Aha! A font. Awesome. That font is going to make it so we each draw two more cards. So now he's going to be drawing ten cards. So now he's going to draw eleven cards. Oh wow, it rebounds. Okay, I did not notice the rebound. Well, who cares? I didn't have another creature. I'm sorry. Now you've got 11 cards in your hand, Pan. Good luck getting rid of all 11. What are you going to do? I bet he's pr he's got a lot of ma- He's going to have a lot of mana in his hand and not a lot of creatures. That's why I'm seriously hoping. Or, if he wants, he can place a creature whereupon I clone it and then control its mind so that I have two of his the creature he just placed, which will be nice. What are you doing, Pan? Are you Have you really got that many cards in your hand that you're having a lot of trouble deciding what to do with what? Or maybe he's got another one of those destroys a thing cards. He wants to know whether or not to destroy the font or the uh, sword, the body and mind. Either way, he's down to just 30 cards in his deck left. 
So, I'm getting rid of five per turn, so he's got six turns now to which to win this. Uh-oh. Uh, Hexproof Regenerator. Great. Hexproof means I can't mind control it. Now he's got to discard three cards. This is what I love about Jace's deck, though. If you don't have any cards in your hand, that doesn't matter, because you're going to get a load all of a sudden. That's awesome. Okay. Ooh, awesome. Awesome, I got tolerance. I didn't get mana this turn. Wow, okay. Uh, Mind Sculpt, so he puts seven cards into his graveyard. That's nice. I can clone that. I can put Jace's Phantom on the field. That, that would be very nice, actually. Um, how much does this cost? Everything but one mana? Okay, everything but two mana. Awesome. I'm gonna play this. So now he has to look through his deck until he finds a creature. Okay, immediately he finds a creature, Master of the Wild Hunt, which is annoying. I wanted it to be like seven cards down, he finds a creature, then he has to discard all the other cards that he got. And I'll summon a Jace's Phantom. Which is gonna be a 5 5 with flying, and then I'll equip that to that guy next turn. And also I will Mind Sculpt, which discards the top seven cards of his deck. Which in further increases the amount of time decreases the amount of time he's got left. And wow, I really haven't sacrificed much. I've got that, but wow, really didn't sacrifice very much. Ooh, actually, there's two shinies here. Uh, wow, okay, that's pretty strong. Eh, whatever. Why am I looking at his graveyard? I should just be fighting here. God, I'm 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 too curious for my own good at times. He's got ten cards in his hand. What's he playing? Ooh, shiny card. Oh dear. Destroy all creatures. Fuck. <laughs> oh well, he didn't have Blood Artists on the field or anything, so that's alright. He's not able to get... The thing is, he's constantly destroying creatures, but he's not able to get any creatures on the field like Blood Artist. I'm really glad I destroyed that Blood Artist. I really am. Come on, Pam. Make your choices. Ooh. Ooh, he had to discard a Vulture Zombie. Awesome. Okay, I've got counter spell, which is nice. Um, play another land. Got another mind sculpt. No, oh, awesome. Play this guy. I want to keep two mana so that I uh, can counter spell, and I'm gonna play. I'm gonna. Should I equip? Hmm. Now I will play another mind sculpt. Boom, down to 11. You now have two turns in which to kill me, pretty much, Pan. Enjoy. Here's hoping he doesn't think I've got a counter in my hand and he's just thinking that I can just equip that. Because that's what it would be doing. If it was on main phase, uh, it would be like, oh, you can still equip this. And I'm like, continue, don't let him know I've got any cards in my hand that I can play still. Now then, counter spell. Counter spell. No, uh, definitely the most. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, fuck, I couldn't count a spell in time. Damn it. Uh, damn it. I, was I should have stopped the timer. Should have stopped the timer. But yeah, count a spell is overpowered. What's that do? And it's trample. Uh, Okay, I'm returning that. Did not have time to counter spell that thing. Um, okay. Which mana do I have? Six to make him draw six cards. That'll win the game. Instantly. I can play the island. Okay, so I can win instantly in many different ways here. So let's see which way I want to do it. I am going to... I'm going to do it the funnest way. I'm going to equip Sword of Body and Mind onto this guy. Then I'm going to cast Sleep, so that he can't block. 
And then... I'm going to attack. This should work. And he should discard the top gun cards from his hand. I could have also just played Prosperity and won, or I could have mind controlled and won, or I could have done a lot of other shit. Now discard top gun cards from your deck. And you have nothing left to, to draw. So you should lose now, and just for the hell of it, I'm going to press Prosperity and make you draw another three cards, which you can't do. Boom! One on my turn, didn't let him even draw it out, I made him to draw it out on my own. Boom! Dream Puppets, not overpowered anymore, but still overpowered. Yeah! Because he just couldn't get any creatures out. He had to keep constantly destroying his own creatures. Should not have had so much creature destruction, because that's Jace's power for you. He does not have creatures to destroy with. Anyway, that was really good. I'm back in it. 3-1. I've got the momentum going into the next round. Hopefully this is the final round. This will be me against Layer 989, aka No Brainer. Let's do this next time.